Yo, sup, uh, I didn't want to be like Crypto Jar, you know, that lazy ass, you know, sitting down in his last video. So, you know what? I'm going to do this standing up. And it gives me an opportunity to show off my shirt because nobody ever comments on my shirts and I think they're interesting. This one's my favorite. Uh, it's Lindsay Lohan and uh, it was a great photo shoot. But anyways, today's video, I'm hitting 900 mega hash and I went excessive again and I bought a Ryzen uh, 9 5950X and we are going to build it. And uh, people keep saying they want to watch me build on camera because it might be funny. So I'm going to build the rig on camera. And yeah, so let's get, let's get right on to building and let's get this all fired up. Okay, so this is a first uh, me building on camera. And uh, yeah, first we're gonna start by putting in the CPU. Um, I'm such a pro, I don't even need to look, you know, where it lines up. Oh look, wow, such a pro, you know. <laughs> and yeah, uh, then the next step, we're gonna throw in our RAM. And I know which RAM slots to put it into. So, you know, cause I am such a pro at this. I am such a pro at this. Look at that, snapped right in. Cool, so now we got the CPU and RAM in. Look at this, I am practically a uh, professional. And then next, next we're gonna install the, uh, the thermal paste and uh, you may think, you know, the amount I'm putting on is wrong, but I am an expert in uh, building computers. So you know what? I'm just gonna put a nice little line like this. And that is our... Um, so when you're building your computers, you would try to match that. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Do don't follow my instructions. <laughs> Next, we're gonna put on the CPU cooler. And uh, yeah, Cooler Master made it super easy to install their coolers onto these boards, which is awesome. So you're gonna wanna kinda do one side. And you're going to want to do the opposing side. Then you're going to want to do a little bit on this side. And then you're going to want to do a little bit on this side. Cool. Now they're all loosely in. Now we're just going to tighten them until they're nice and snug. You don't want to you don't want to put too much pressure on them. Now go back around, see if they need a little tightening again. Maybe get one little tiny turn on all of them and that should be good. Next, we are going to install the fan. Okay, one thing I do not like about these new Cooler Master fans is that they have these these versus you know the the the, the twist ons like the bolt ons. I just think the bolt ons, you know, it keeps a little bit more universal because I try to use another um, CPU for an outtake and it just wouldn't work. So yeah, let's pop on this fan here. Pop her in just like that. Pop her in just like that. Um, this is the RGB cable, so that will just get hidden behind here somewhere. We'll let it just dangle here. 
And then we will plug this into the CPU fan header, which is right here. And that's it. I built a computer on camera. Oh, one more thing. Um, if you guys are into CPU motherboard building, I would highly suggest the, on eBay, these are $30, and they are just uh, GT610 2 gigabytes, and they don't require a VGA cable, so when you are setting it up, uh, you don't need an extra cable. So it's just nice just to plug in, and you can view your computer on the monitor. So yeah, let's get this bad boy plugged in. Okay, you like how I skipped how to, you know, um, update your BIOS? Some people may not know how to do that, but uh, yeah, that's the part I skipped. Anyways, we're gonna go to advanced settings. We're gonna go settings, uh, advanced. Um, we're gonna go to Windows OS configuration. We're going to switch this to UEFI and we are going to disable secure boot and we're going to escape, escape and then we're going to go power management setups uh, and we are going to go power on. And then we're going to go to integrated peripherals and we're going to go VGA detection and we are going to ignore. And that is all you gotta do in your BIOS. So now I'm gonna plug in my Hive OS um, flash drive and we'll see if we got Hive OS on there. Okay, so now that we got all those BIOS settings set, I forgot to mention I had to redo all those BIOS settings because I forgot to save and exit. So remember to save and exit after you do those BIOS settings. But let's fire it up. It should just fire right up because we set it that way. So let's turn on the power. There we go. Power is on. Oh, there it is. That's what you want to see. Oh, and there's Hive OS. Oh, it's going. It is going. And Hive OS is now installed on this computer. All right, so our rig uh, showed up. I already renamed it. So we're going to go in and select our rig. I'm going to go through every single step of what I do when I'm setting up my rigs. And I'm gonna go to remote access here and I'm gonna go start. Okay, hey, cool. Now we're in here. Okay, now that we're in here, um, we wanna get the drivers for install TP-Link. And sometimes uh, you won't have rsync or get or get installed so we are going to apt install get and then next we're going to go apt install our sync All right, cool. Now we are going to just copy and paste all of these commands. Whoops. Let's go back to the main one and let's go Wi-Fi. And sometimes uh, if you look at WLAN 3 there, it's still configuring. So it may take a little bit for it to configure and actually work. 
but eventually it will work. And when it when it does work, I will come back. Oh, and another thing, um, I bought this Lenovo monitor and it's VGA. And like, even though it's VGA, I absolutely love it. It like reminds me of like, things aren't like crystal, crystal clear. I don't think it's LCD. But like it reminds me of playing CSGO 1.6. So it's just kind of nostalgic and I like the look of it. And yeah, if when I make my main build, I'm probably going to use this as I, uh... Okay, so my Wi-Fi is still configuring. So I'm just going to like launch the flight sheet and we this thing will start mining. And, uh, yeah, it should get a pretty good hash rate. Awesome. Cool. We're mining. Uh, now let's try to get that Wi-Fi going again. Um, I'll get the Wi-Fi configured off camera. It can be a little finicky. You might have to wait for a few things, but I'll get that figured out off camera. So I've never had so many problems setting up a CPU rig. It's like restarted on me like four times. Uh, I went through like three USB sticks and the config file would not recognize, but we are mining right now and Wi-Fi is working and yeah, I'm scared to move it onto the rack, but it has to happen because it is not sitting here <laughs> in mining. So uh, let's get it moved on the rack and let's just pray to God that it works. Yeah, so I don't think I've had as many issues as I've had with this uh, machine. I went through like three USB sticks I think I fried one of them, but the config file just would never catch. And every time, you know, I would get the Wi-Fi set up, I would go to reboot it, and then it would be like, oh, you need to put it in your config stuff. And then I'd have to restart. So uh, it was daytime when I started this, and it is now nighttime. So I'm gonna boot this and let's just Pray to God that it shows up on Hive OS. Okay, and thank God we showed up. Uh, I am terrified of that thing going down. And um, yeah, let's uh, let's see if we showed up on Cloud Eagle yet. Um, that'd be kind of cool. We are initializing one, which would be. This guy right here. So as soon as, as, soon as this guy get, gets initialized, I'll, uh, I'll show you what's up. Okay, it says here we're still initializing, but there it is. 36.18 mega hash. And uh, I am so stoked that I'm at 900 mega hash. I will keep saying it, but you do not know the troubles I went through to set up this board. So, yeah, it feels good to be at 900 mega hash. Uh, not up here yet. It will be, though. It will be. Okay, so we popped up on uh, Hive OS and Cloud Eco, and um, this power supply here is not a permanent solution. I have bought in splitters for this power supply because I don't want, you know, I just don't want so many power supplies running out of one outlet. And eventually the plan is behind this wall there's an oven and there's a 40 amp hookup and we are gonna expand this farm and make it huge. But yeah, the, those look really nice together. I am kind of like, you know, it's, it's very pretty. So that's 900 mega hash. Um, 
Only 100 more to go. And if you guys knew, like, how much struggle I went through just to set that board up, uh, I've set up five other, uh, actually, let's say six or seven uh, motherboard setups. And I've never, ever had that problem where... I went through three USB sticks. They just don't recognize on the computer anymore. Um, the config file just would not recognize. Um, on my main Windows machine that I use for Belina Etcher, every time I would uh, use Belina Etcher, it would the computer would blue screen. So uh, it was a struggle to get to 900 mega hash, but we are there. And uh, only 100 more to go. And I really, really want my last 100 mega hash to be something special. Now I was thinking about AMD, like a dual AMD Epic board, but those things are so freaking loud, those fans, that I'm not too sure if I want to do that. I might talk to Akuna Matata about it and see how loud loud they are, but that might be where I go. I'm not too sure, but if you can think of anything that would be cool, that would be awesome. And uh, yeah, I wish I kind of showed more of the struggles of what I went through because like I wanted this video out by... It's 8 p.m. right now. I wanted this video out by 8 p.m., but that's not happening. <laughs> so, yeah, um, if you like this video, uh, give it a like and a subscribe. This is the Road to 1 Giga Hash. This is, this is my bread and butter. This is, you know, this is the whole, one of the biggest reasons why I do YouTube. And uh, yeah, uh, all my affiliate links are down below. It helps grow this channel. All the parts I use, I will link them down below as well. Um, purchasing them really helps uh, grow this channel. Nothing I buy is cheap. And yeah, and, and the link to my Discord is down below. Uh, we do some pretty great things there. Awesome people. Um, if you're feeling down or anything, you know, they always bring you up and they, we have a few members of there that are excellent at, um, technical, the technical side of things and you can get like, you know, pretty much any problem solved. So yeah, uh, I'll check you later.